never change a winning team. This was title holders Budochnos' motto for the season. After their triumph last season, their second title in the Women's EHF Champions League, coach Dragan Adjic signed a new contract until 2020. But there was a big loss between the posts. Marina Rajic and Clara Voltering left the club. What a save, Oldering! The pressure rested on the shoulders of Marta Tzderic. There was always plenty of competition there and that got the best out of us. Every training session, every match, we gave it our all, even though Clara and Martina aren't here. A few young players arrived and of course that raised the stakes for me. Even though I don't quite see it that way, I know what I'm here for and what I have to do. I hope I can fulfil all the expectations. In the group phase, the team started brilliantly with five wins and a draw. Only Bucharesti were able to take a point away from Podgorica. The women's EHF Champions League rookies even almost managed to snatch a shock win, but Budućnost's unbeaten record since 10th of March 2013 remained intact. The main round brought big games. They suffered narrow but very painful losses away from home against arch-rivals Gyur and Skopje. Steric and company showed their true colours at home. Skopje were battered and revenge against Gyur was a sweet demonstration of their strengths. In the end, they topped the group with the best defence with only 211 goals conceded. In the quarter-finals, the star ensemble had to travel to Bayamara and didn't slip up. In the second leg, the favourites found it tough, but Nayago led her team to Budapest with 10 goals. Now it's all about defending the trophy. They are the team to beat.